All right, what is up guys? Today we are doing a minifigure opening. I'm doing it in my car because, you know, I just pulled up to my local Walgreens and I had to grab some things. I saw some minifigures and I'm like, you know, with two of these, I'm going to see what how good at minifigure feeling I am. So I picked two of them and the ones that I wanted to get was Falcon. He had some sweet printing and uh, Spider-Man from this series. So I, uh, I filled for the, through the packages. They probably had like 20 there. I probably felt through like 10 of them or so. Um, let's see, which one was this? Pretty sure this one right here is Falcon. So let's see if I'm two for two, one for two, zero for two. Let's see how I did. So last time I was here, I didn't film it, but I got Wanda Vision or Wanda and Vision from the WandaVision TV series. And those were cool. I just am not a fan of those characters personally, so it wasn't as exciting, and I just grabbed two random ones. But let's see who we got here. Oh, heck yeah. I was right. So the piece that I felt was Falcon's printed... Uh... Oh, that's sick. It's dual printed. So we got his back piece I'm gonna set that there for now oh that's so cool yeah I didn't know exactly what it was when I was feeling around but I'm like oh this feels like a backpack piece and I didn't know how many characters had one that's actually a lot of pieces comes in this little that's super interesting how they have a bag within a bag but we got minifigure stand right there all right, let's build that bad boy real quick. Yeah, so the thing with minifigures is lots of the series just have kind of garbage ones and maybe like three good ones. The headpiece is cool. He's got a printed, printed back and front. Oh, let's put the minifigure together. And, ooh, printed feet as well as um printed feet as well as side like boots and stuff that's arm printing on this guy is really good too it's got a nice back printing like very metallic that's kind of cool um yeah the thing about minifigure series is you just get so many bad ones out there they're just kind of not worth the five dollars my Walgreens currently has them listed for $3.99, which is really nice because that's definitely not the case in a lot of um, Walmarts or Targets. They're $4.99. Extra little dollar saving that is pretty nice. Um, yeah, a lot of minifigures also don't have that many pieces, but this one they actually uh, did a fantastic... This has got to be... I wasn't a huge fan of the show. It was pretty good. Of the Marvel shows, it was probably the best, in my opinion. But, um... Yeah, this character is cool, though. I really like him in minifigure form, actually. So, there's that. He's got some super sick printing. Like, pretty much 360 degrees on this guy. Dual molded legs, which is awesome. So, wow, I think they did a fantastic job on that minifigure, and I'm really happy to have gotten that one. Because, um, you know, it was kind of hard, hard to find there. Um, wow, that's cool. Okay, well, I'm going to put that to the side. Let's see if we got Spider-Man. So, I already have a lot of Spider-Man minifigures, but... This one is probably just the most detailed Spider-Man I've seen out there. And I kind of wanted one for my collection. So the piece that I felt, I'm pretty sure, was like the rope. Two for two, ladies and gentlemen. We got a... Here's Spider-Man's web that was like the rope. I felt the little pieces, the little links. And I was like, yeah, I'm like 90% sure this is him. A really cool hairpiece included in there along with his little 
web shooters printed on his arms, which I'm stoked about. He's got a nice cape. Um, Two-piece Doctor Strange uh, cape there. We have these little booklets. I'm going to hang on to them, not open them up. But, I mean, I'm sure you're aware of what minifigures are in this series. Because even though it's the most recent themed one, there's one new series that just came out. But this is like the most recent one from a movie series or something like that. So, I'm really hoping they do a Star Wars minifigure um line because i would no joke i would probably purchase every single minifigure if not doubles which sounds excessive but you could have some sick clones in a uh, minifigure series that you might not include in a set like for some reason commander cody hasn't been made in his phase two armor yet um which is kind of disappointing. Okay, to be honest, I'm not even going to build this minifigure correctly. I like him like this most, just because, I mean, it looks like... Oh, wow, it's just so detailed. And I have a modular city. I mean, it's currently just eight, seven buildings, including the Daily Bugle, um, that I have in a lineup. I'll do a video on that sometime soon here. Um, and try to show you guys what that looks like. I want to get some road plates for it, to be honest, before I show it off. Which I might end up doing this coming weekend. We'll see if I can make it to the Lego store. But every single Walmart, Target, like most regular stores are completely out of stock of any Lego Star Wars. I've been to probably six or seven in the past month. And after Christmas, like, wow, it's just been drained of all inventory. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little opening. I'll probably be doing similar content to this in the future. Sorry I don't upload that much. I've got a kind of busy life outside of my hobby. But you guys have a good one, and uh, we'll be seeing you around.